remember how to use my left pinky toe. That's quitter talking. You know it. That's an impressive drink if it causes you to lose function of your pinky toe. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm kind of making by like it seems to be waking up, so it might have just fallen asleep, and that's a very specific part of your body to fall asleep from a combination of like cold medicine and fruit punch, I guess. Like, oh fuck, I threw away the bottle already, so I don't know what it, the fuck it was called. Oh well. <laughs> Anyway. Yes, things and stuff and terrible explosions. Explosion. No. Wrong I layer. Know, I didn't know it. I was say, I didn't know my, my um, black mage was in this game. <laughs> do, 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 do. That is all. This needs to be bigger. Oh, that's right. We're going into the fun house. Yeah, you are. The fun house. Quote unquote fun house. I, I can assure you the fun is in air quotes. Oh, I know it is. I don't remember my role for last week, but I think I did a perception role watching for traps because fun house on top of demon castle probably going to make the quote-unquote jump scares a little more lethal. <laughs> what kind of fun house has jump scares? That's a haunted house. You know yeah, what? This... You, you have other things to worry about because jump scares aren't in notes Rin gave me. Other things are. You still get the gist of my point. Leave me alone. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. The thing I remember about this new drawing tab is that I can turn it turn it wireless. Nice. Because it's actually more comfortable to hold it on my lap. I'll bet. Wrong folder. Okay, let me grab Muzak. There we go. Mm. <clears throat> and now we begin. It was time for what? This is 51? Yes. Okay, cool. Session 51 of the Elemental Odyssey. More miraculously, Wings of the Dungeon, take your pick. But anyway, when last we left our heroes, uh, well, for starters, <laughs> they fucking out the gate once they got to the thing they're like let's just blow up this mimic and then they blew up an entire roller coaster mimic and like just completely annihilated one option for like a hazard in the entirety of this whole fucking sprawling in series of encounters you know what sometimes you just got to use c4 to yeet a mimic into the line of fire some anti-aircraft guns hey at least the guys on the guardian got to have some fun some pre-game pre-game warm-ups <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's for sure. What's for sure? <laughs> well, I was responding to what Jinx was saying. Okay. Let me make sure I have all the sheets I'm going to need. Where is that one? Okay. So, with that aside, uh, before you had committed to your plan to uh, eat, explode the mimic, <coughs> your team start, you guys, and... Uh, had arrived on the Lowellberg and the Lowellberg circus with the help of several members of Dragonor, including, including, Pretty. listen, <laughs> I'm letting the cold medicine kick in. Oh boy, loopy DM. Well, it's either loopy DM or grumpy DM. Which would you prefer? 
I don't know. Both sound hilarious. Well, Grumpy DM would have a headache and couldn't talk as loud or do as much, so. Mm. Anyway. You arrived with the <clears throat> uh, leader of Dragon War, Marcus. His uh, right hand. <coughs> Come here. Uh, his second in command fucking word I swear I can use them Are second you in sure? command shop Victoria <laughs> <clears throat> a sniper <clears throat> by the name of Tanner and then the two red headed idiots that are Roy and Rhea Fortune <laughs> the you also were accompanied by your the uh, half orc that Celestine brought home with him, LRL, and uh, the dragon who's probably smooching Arvin Evelyn. Probably. There's no probably in this equation. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, Tanner and Evelyn are still at where you guys landed with the Bismarck to hold down the fort as well, so you know. Because, well, a sniper with what looks like the bizarre child, the was like theoretical offspring of an anti tank rifle, <clears throat> and an entire shadow dragon, well, you're pretty sure your uh, ex exit point's pretty well protected. <laughs> Meanwhile, Captain Justice, <clears throat> Miss Explosions, Boof, and uh, Boof Friend are all looking for survivors my way to justify why two of the player characters weren't around. Well, three. Anyway. Semantics. Yeah. That After that was when you guys were like, okay, so what do we deal with first? Because we got to go to the... On the map. Hold on. Let me pull this up so I... So I need to get off the map I'm on. The location you can see on the map right now that's marked with Snackbot is the Funhouse which is where you guys were headed to after you dealt with the rather easy situation of checking out the roller coaster terminal since the Mimic is dead. The roller coaster terminal was the blue square on the bottom. The orange and red one is the Freak Show, which is where Dragon Roar went to. And the purple square in the middle is the Big Top. <clears throat> the terminal seemed, you know, as uh, very spooky, uh, left for dead, like that one circus level in it. About like that. Just, you know, dead things everywhere. Horribly, you know, destroyed people. Fairly spooky. You then uh, exploded a ghost out of the roller coaster terminal, which seemed to trigger something or do something because according to the telemetry dragon Roar had something about the area changed after you did that Woo. <clears throat> yeah you then went along the track seeing as how they're no longer a hazard <clears throat> and got the key from the poor half merged with the mega loop and ha missing half his body roller coaster technician And then it made your way into the funhouse via the tracks. You also occasionally heard claps of thunder and cries of justice. So your priest, your terrain's been doing all right for himself. And the occasional explosion. Oh, uh, yeah. There, there's been a lot of those between uh, Dragon Roar and uh, Jana. But to catch up to where the players are, you had entered last time, and no, Jinx, you did not roll for traps. Oh, I didn't? No. no. Thought I did. You rolled perception to check for something else. No, you rolled perception to see the state of the, oh, the funhouse. That's, that's probably what it was, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but as you guys enter, you can see... Ahead of you, mm. 
Wait, hold on. What would this room be? Let me check my notes. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. <coughs> oh, this is that room. Okay. The room ahead of you, apart from the roller coaster tracks, like half merged with the section of the floor and like careening off through wall in a way that looks like it was not designed to do. <clears throat> but other than that, it's like you can see there's a, actually, let me reveal it a little bit more. There's the reveal tool, reveal area. You can see a hallway over here. But given how this is a fun house and there has to be, you know, presumably there's gimmicks to the various rooms, you're not sure what this one's could be. Especially since, well, none of you know what all this fun house had before. You could have asked, but that well, time that ship didn't. has sailed. We didn't think to ask. Mm hmm. It's been more fun to do it blind. Yeah, yeah, I'm with Snack. Blind 24, man, let's go. Exactly. Every boss and enemy is Ozma. Oh, God. <laughs> Except the final boss, it's two Thunder Gods. Oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> Sounds like fun. When do we a lot? When do we leave? I'm mean, but I'm not that mean. <laughs> Sounds like fun. When do we leave? All right, but um... the area is dark. But well, all y'all motherfuckers have dark vision, so it doesn't really mean shit. Yeah, what is darkness? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna make my way and pop my happy ass off the tracks. Or is this what appears to be the only exit, I'm assuming? Uh, it's the... Well, well into the, the building, I mean. Into the building, there's also the roller coaster tracks, and you don't know where they'd lead. And you're... Hold on, I need to check your stupid vision range. Vip, yeah, you can see the end of the hallway. <laughs> and for reference for the audience, I took a feat um, that allowed me to obtain... Uh, you can tell there's uh, rooms along the way, and hold on. And you just immediately stepped off the tracks, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's more present for Shiaku because he did this first. Uh, roll me a deck save. <laughs> Good thing I had my sheet open. As I was explaining to the crowd that I obtained um, Devil's Sight, which allows me to see stars. Stupid far and through magical darkness. Yeah. I only let you take that feat because you're fucking part warlock. Dexterity. And you know, it makes sense. No. Oh. Well This is gonna hurt. <laughs> At least a little bit. Let me see. I don't trust Guess what? The floor's a fucking mimic. <laughs> uh No wait, where was this one again? Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. Ooh, how much damage is that gonna do? Mm. Oh, oh that's actually the fucking Christ. Oh, you got the baby trap. Don't worry about it. Fuck you, Ren. Hey, in my defense, hey. this part wasn't in my notes, <clears throat> and I uh, had other things in this room. But what? I don't know what he's doing. Uh, hey, man. You said traps for floor tricks. As uh, once you step off the th the uh, roller coaster tracks, which you suddenly feel this like shift in the floor, and you immediately fall over, and a spring loaded boxing glove shoots out and punches you in the face. You take sixteen bludgeoning damage. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, this isn't the room I thought it was then. Sixteen. <laughs> yeah. 
you slipped and also the boxing glove came out, so you just sort of fell on it. You're also prone. God fucking oh, damn it. Oh, oh if, it, if it's this room, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Chiaki dusts himself, gets up, dusts himself off. Just, goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> Kavo just looks at him, at least you landed on your feet. <coughs> mm-hmm. Arvin's walking on the tracks for now. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. And Arvin also has the stupid dark vision to mean I have to reveal... Pretty fucking long way, damn. And for a little further context on Devil's Sight, it not only allows me to see through dark vision, it extend again, it extends my um it extends my dark vision. Feel this path along the tracks, which seem to cut through another room. Extends my dark vision out to 120 feet. Um, <coughs> and because I have so many levels in Blood Hunter, <coughs> it extends my dark vision out another 30 feet, giving me a total of 150. Also, and once the Shiakyo stands back up, the boxing of <laughs> retracts in the ground, and you see down the hallway and a little bit in front of him, the floor just like sort of like is shifting like tiles. Like someone's playing uh, the, the hide the ball in the cup game with you. The shell game, that's it. But it's, uh, it's floor tiles instead. Chiakio's immediately face palming and just like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> well, you should be paying attention to where it's going. Well, you don't I know, don't know which one. Yeah, I, I know what's under the one. <laughs> well, you know what's under the one you're standing on, and the space right in front of you is where they're moving. You assume this one isn't moving only because you're standing on it. Great. <clears throat> One second. I got brought a piece of cake. Neat. <clears throat> I look back to notice Arvin's still on the tracks. You see anything further down the tracks, Arvin? Yeah, he called out. He saw. Oh, he room. he did already call it out. Never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, do we want to go that way or take our chances going this way? <laughs> it's like, well, okay. and this is just gonna sort of quietly follow. He's like holding his scythe and like kind of looking around, a little paranoid now. As he should. Uh. Also, Rin, roll me a D six, please. God damn it, Rin. I hate you already. I don't. I'm a if this is the fucking yeah, baby trap. Well, no, he didn't make the traps. He just said there were. I made the traps. Oh. <laughs> I rolled on which one you got. You got the baby trap. Punched with the boxing glove. There, there were some traps that I specifically put in the notes, and I think this might be one of them. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Two passes back. This reminds me, I should have been rolling d4s every day. Oh, what? For Wait, the... What? For my... Your cobalt, cobalt beard? beard. Uh, like, don't don't worry about it. Like, I have a I have a threshold for it. By now, you, you have a very, very full, impressive cobalt beard. Nice. He is the most majestic of bearded lizards. It, 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 it's, it's like a shorter, but like a little bit... Uh, it, it's a lot like Yosemite Sam on him right now. 
The not most quite as like long and full bodied. It's like about half that size because Snek is well kobold, but it's you know, it, it looks very smooth, but also like it would fucking scratch someone up really bad if he like smacked him with his face, just like Ugh! <laughs> very very weaponizable beard <laughs> because he is kobold. New damage type called itching damage. <laughs> no beard damage. <laughs> One does not attack with a beard and not expect to do beard damage. Unless they are attacking someone's beard. Then they can cause damage to a beard. Anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, you can proceed down the hallway. Or you can go along the tracks. If you want to see if you can figure something out. Well, start asking what skills you think would work. Remind me, the one I'm standing on is the boxing glove trap? Uh, it currently seems like, <clears throat> given now, uh, I'll say this is like an easy thing, just like a passive perception thing for you. The Basically, starting from this line and moving on to about here is all just like rotating floor panels. Like the ones around you are shifting, but the one you're on is staying put, you assume because you're weighing it down. Right. I'll... The tracks, even though they're crossing over the area where it seems to be shifting, those the track panels aren't moving. They're just kind of there. I meant, I meant the boxing glove trap. Is that on the square I'm standing on? Yeah, you're currently standing on that trap. Okay. So it's currently out of the mix. You're welcome, <clears throat> honey. <laughs> Don't step <laughs> on this tile. <laughs> um... Is there anything potential? Since I know it's the boxing glove trap, is there anything different with this tile compared to any other tile that might in indicate some sort of inkling where the safe tiles are? No. No. Or okay. actually, roll me perception to see if you can spot if you can tell if tiles are trapped or not. Do, do, do. Where are you? Perception. Where did you go? Right there. Seventeen. Well that meets deets well that meets ADC. That's the DC to tell you that uh oh, wait a minute, where's the panel the boxing glove came out of on this panel I'm standing on? There's no sign of any traps on any tile. Ah shit. <clears throat> At least not as far as you can tell. Fun, <coughs> fun times. Mm-hmm. And we don't know where what we're looking is on this floor, so it's like, we're going to have to deal with this floor eventually. <laughs> yeah, you could try to bypass it, but who knows what else goes on in this place. Since we've got a party split, I'd say the two of us take Magical Tile Adventure and those guys to go on and stay on the tracks. Your common sense tells you this is a bad idea. <clears throat> Yeah, Shiakyo's too pissed off at this floor. <laughs> He's gonna get back on the track. <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna mess with the the, no, the he's, sliding floor. He is too pissed off at the sliding floor to wanna mess with it. <laughs> <clears throat> Once you step off the pot, tent, pot, tile you're on, you immediately just like fucking yeets into the rotating thing and it starts it starts speeding up a little bit and then it goes back into a steady rhythm and you fucking you lost track of which one <laughs> where it went. Damn it. Alright, back on the tracks we go then. I'm too pissed off at this fucking floor. <clears throat> at this point, let me just uh, reveal up here. Boop. Terrain! Justice. I have no idea which room I'm going to go into. <laughs> oh, there you are. <clears throat> I don't know where I am. You, yeah, you guys don't know, but Terrain do. And we... So... Unless he comes through rather noisily, we don't have a clue where he is. Also worth noting, he is also on the tracks. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting to what he was doing. 
only way so, to get to some of these places. <clears throat> After uh, dealing with a few ne'er do well fiendish types, <clears throat> finding only two survivors and having uh, your compa your fellow companions of justice, Celestine and Elarel, escort them back to the safe zone. <clears throat> You decided it was high time you joined in the front lines with your f other fellows and see about getting to the heart of the evil in this place. So, naturally, you hopped on the nearest set of roller coaster tracks, stuck your boots on them, and just started yeeting yourself down them. Of course. At mock justice. Mock <clears throat> justice. <laughs> you can hear a little bit behind you uh, the voice of the uh, magically inclined drow woman who... Uh, helped rescue the two survivors you were able to find from a rather grisly-looking magical trap that was trying to, uh, well, trash compact them. <clears throat> it seems Sorry. she is uh, trying to keep up with you. But uh, Justice is a bit swifter longer. than her. <laughs> so she'll arrive uh, momentarily, but you are here. I need to reveal a bit more. <clears throat> do, 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 do. There he is. <coughs> what is this room? <clears throat> this room at one point seems to have been the exit for the funhouse. It now has uh, the exit door is like MC Escher like sideways and half like Alice in Wonderland bent. The exit sign just says EX. Now the I and the T are just gone and like half merged into like some other part of the wall. And then, well, obviously, you're on a roller coaster track that you're pretty sure wasn't built to go through this place. No, I'm probably not. <clears throat> Buh -buh 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 -buh. Hold on a second, let me grab the polygon reveal. I need that for this. You can also see. Do -do -do. Uh, what's the range on your dark vision? I do not remember. Let me pull up that one. Unless the minimum has... it's 60. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay, it is 60. All right. Did you do? Means C. Also, this. It's faint, but along the wall, this like chunk of the wall you can see here. You can faintly see a sign that. Uh, what languages can you speak? Common, celestial, and then you ha should have like one or two others. Primordial. Mm. <clears throat> it's half in common, half in something else, and it just like the first the first word is in something else the second word is in common and just as the second word is pit ah. mosh pit you wish it was a mosh pit <clears throat> oh wait you can also see a bit more of the tracks down here to do dupe dupe to dupe, dupe. Hmm, wonder where those go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> also, what's your passive perception terrain? What's that again? Just like 10 plus the score, I think, was it? 10 yes. plus yeah, your modifier. 16. 16. You hear shuffling coming from the hallway near the pit sign. The ability is afoot in that direction. 
I will ride the rail a little farther, and then I will hop off. Yep. Okie dokie. Let me get the reveal tool real quickly. Now you can see this hole. Business. And roll a deck save. <laughs> nope! <laughs> That did reveal for you, right? Because I just realized I'm still in the gym layer. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's good. <clears throat> okay. But uh, back with the other party for a moment. Uh, hmm. you know, terrain is not subtle. Uh, Padma and Jayako, you both hear and kind of notice the tracks are a little bit rattling, and you heard something like further down this way, but you're not sure what the noise was. Oh, baby. Oh, lovely. Something else is on the tracks now. If it weren't for the hearing shuffling, I literally would apply mock justice right into you guys and plowed you all over. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly well lit here, if I recall correctly. Mm -mm. Well, shall we proceed with caution down the tracks? Caution is good, yes. Yes. Shoot, what I can do. And uh, Armin goes up here and he starts walking along the wall of the tunnel for the track the tracks are going through. Smart idea. Yeah, I'm gonna follow suit with that. And my he goes on to the opposite wall of Arvin. Mm hmm. It's I didn't draw it very well, but it's supposed to be wide enough for two people to stand next to each other on it, so the two of you can sort of, sort of like reach without like bonking your heads against each other the whole time. Well, bonk, hey, bonk, bonk, bonk. on any walls. I know Giacchio can't either. I know Giacchio can follow. I don't know if he can walk on walls. No. Hmm. I have no those. I have no spell feats or items that allow me to do that. All right. Because I got rid of the things and stuff. <clears throat> Let's move Arvin up a little bit. No, one tile further, thank you, so I can actually reveal this area for you guys. You... Boop! <clears throat> oh, damn, I can take advantage of that. Forgot about that belt. Belt of shadow stepping. Mm -hmm. Also, despite the fact it doesn't look like those two tracks are connected, I just made it for the... There's another path right there, and it goes under it, as far as I'm concerned. Uh... Oh, you're not actually standing on a tile, Twin. Or wait, are you still on the tracks? I'm on the wall. Mm. Well, hold on a second. I gotta reveal a bit more. Now yeah. that there's more people here. Shoop, boop, boop, boop. Oh, wait. I gotta reveal even more because fucking Jack, you and goddamn. <laughs> That is a random black line to build the rooms. Oh, yeah. I see that problem. There you go. Just 
random ass blank room is what I'm seeing. One moment. Okay. Yep. No We're problem. A little bit more because you're fucking dark vision. I love my dark okay. vision. <clears throat> so you can very easily see a sign right here that uh, a language did you speak again? <laughs> Uh, hold on. I will just throw it in. Bang. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> this be in that? Don't think so. Um. Actually, hold on a second. Let me check the. Reminds me, I need to mess with the benchmark or the character creation screen. Languages. There's a mention about the script for them. Mm. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay. Much like, uh, the sign terrain saw it there it's in half a language you don't recognize and half in common uh instead of it being something pit you just the first word is uh ball and you don't know what the other one is ball i don't think this is a ball pit no the ball pit it says is this way but it says ball something that way it's yeah, have in common no, something else. Like... How the one terrain said, uh, yeah. saw said something pit. So it's like I don't think we're going towards a ball pit. I'm saying and, the uh, same you character. Can see <laughs> on this wall, there's a different one that, uh, again, it's uh, partially in a different language you don't recognize, uh, and uh, partially in common. It's something of mirrors. Given that we're in a fun house, could I infer that's probably a hall or room of mirrors? Is yeah. what that is saying. It's probably easy yeah. enough to decipher. Yeah. Given the location. Yeah. So, <laughs> ball something, probably ball pit that way, and something mirror probably hall or room of mirrors that way actually i need to we want to i'm looking at the group as i'm asking do we want to uh check these out probably mm. oh so he does arvin like kind of, yeah ball pit and hall of mirrors what is the other language by the way infernal infernal ah Fitting. Yeah, fitting. <laughs> well, he like squints. Mm, it's at least written in Infernal, but Infernal and Abyssal use a similar writing system. Ah. Still, do we want to check out either of these, or? I'm guessing we oh, by the way, should. Are you talking quietly, or are you just talking? I am... Just talking. Ah. Uh, Terrain, you hear voices. Just, it's just nothing discernible. Uh, you hear a voice from this direction. It's a little indistinct, you assume, because, like, you know, this place has, like, weird echo because it's also coming out of a tunnel, but it sounds at least a little bit familiar to you. Actually, wait. Multiple voices. Yeah, you'd hear multiple voices. And by now... Wheeze. Wheeze. Puff pant. <laughs> <clears throat> Jonna is not amused. Damn it, why can't you just go it down? Is she yelling that? No, she's just talking to him. I was gonna say, if she's yelling that, then I was gonna have something happen. Yeah, and I don't like what would happen. 
but she's not actively trying to really like quiet. She's just normal voice. Just normal voice. Okay, Giacchio, you hear a voice coming from further down the track. Anyone else? Here? I this time I speak a little quieter because I'm assuming they're too far to recognize exactly who it uh, is. So. I. The only reason you can hear her so well from that far around this corner is because you have a bullshit passive perception. Hey, them fucking cat ears, man. Yeah, the only reason <laughs> Terrain could hear you is because you're, like, right next to the curt bend. Yeah. So. I kind of hold does it Does Terrain you. respond to her, by the way? He's actually trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Unless he just like holds up a hand, he's like looking. He hears shuffling that way. He heard voices the other way. Just like justice squint. Mm. Like, mm. Been in both directions. Like, oh. <laughs> Does he say this out loud? He just kind of mumbles it to himself. Mm, okay. I hold a finger up to my lips while that's Man. happening. Step close to the group and say, I heard voices that I heard, heard a voice, voice, a voice, excuse me, that way. Hmm. Couldn't tell who it was. Then this is just like, I have an idea, and he like kind of creeped up past you. Hold on, let me get his sheet open. I gotta control the druid, I'm gonna do something silly with it. <laughs> As you do when you control a druid. <laughs> Note exhibit A, Keyleth diving off a mountain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Just hit that. You see him pull out a lighter and light it and then just start drawing the flame up into a shape. And the shape is a small, like, a, it looks kind of like a like palm-sized tiny fire version of Eos. And just kind of send it down the track. Terrain... <laughs> A tiny fire fairy is the only way you can describe what you see approaching you is coming from the tracks. Does that work though? Because I think in the de I'm looking, I'm just looking at the description here. It says can move it five feet in a direction. Well, yeah, this is like multiple. I oh. assume it's like taking multiple because okay. it's just like it's just a can trip. Okay, it can go five feet further. Every okay, I got you. Yeah, I assume he's like continuously just casting it because it's just a can trip. So okay, fair it just enough. Keeps doing it to keep sending the flame before it like fully disperses and I, going I, down. he also has a lighter no that's fair i thought it was literally i can only move it five feet away from me that's what i how i interpreted it actually fuck that's a good point mm. does he have something else then i was say, say i have my butterfly hairpin uh, uh, uh. Oh, never mind. Instead of that, he's going to use uh, this. Once the fucking thing goes through on roll 20. Come on. I'm sorry. That was weird. Okay. Okay, that's... What the shit, roll 20? Nanny. I'm trying to make him fucking pop up the sheet thing for Druidcraft just so I have it in the side chat. It's not happening. Oh. Just weird. Hold on, let me check his sheets. Be... No, didn't mean to hit that. He accidentally have a target thing on this. Inspiration zero. And this is totally oh, uninspired. That's, that's the problem. 
What? Something had turned on that was like forcing like a targeting thing somehow, and I'm like, I don't know how to fucking deal with that, so I turned it off. There we go. So, uh, instead, coming from, instead of a little fire fairy train, you instead hear <clears throat> a, uh, actually, hold on a second. Where's the sound thing? Because I can just play the sound for this. I hear dogs. You hear a dog. You hear a single boof coming from the tunnel. But the, the boof is the other direction. It does not sound, it's not big enough to have been Celestine. It sounds smaller. Is it a fire oh. corgi? It, it's it's just, just... It just says the sound of an animal, so I went with a dog barking because I had a sound clip for it. Yeah. So, so you're telling me I hear what is probably a demon dog down that hallway. You could uh, assume that there's a demon dog barking at something. And it sounds like it's somewhere in here. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from the tunnel that you can see. Okay. Which, to be fair, like, for Terrain's perspective, he can only see up to that black line on it. Like, this is the terrain point of view on the tunnel. I'm trying to figure out which button I'm going to click to deal with this potential demon in the tunnel. I'm going to click this one. <laughs> So you're expending a charge and shooting a lightning bolt down the tunnel? Mm -hmm. There's a demon that way. It needs to die. Well, you hear it. You don't see it is the thing. Yes, but it sounds like it's in the tunnel, so I'm going to blow it up. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Jack and Padma. I'm sorry. Just... What has he been fighting for the last, what, like 24 hours nonstop? Bunch of demons? Uh, not, 20, not 24 hours. Only for the past about... I shall Three return. I have to go to dinner. Still. Okay. But uh, Jacques and Padma and Fenless see a lightning bolt just come shooting down the tunnel. I'm jumping off the tracks. It, it doesn't attack the tracks. It just goes along the wall and sort of hits the wall. I'm on the wall. My ears are off, but Shiaki would immediately respond with, Watch your fucking fire terrain! Because I would assume he could recognize lightning <laughs> as terrain. A, it's a straight line. You wouldn't have been hit anyway. Yeah. The hall curves. The beam doesn't. Lightning and also, there's nothing metal line. on the wall. You're standing on, like, wood and stone. The yeah, object is saying he yells down the hall. I right? heard. I heard. Terrain, you hear Jacquio. Oi, watch your fire! <laughs> There'll be demons afoot. That was Fenless. <laughs> yeah. Fen Fenless is just like, I just made the sound of a dog. <laughs> He's like, looks at you. It's like the the fucking. Hold on, I need I need the I need the image for Fenless right now. I have to, I have to dig this up out of my computer. It's over in here uh, no 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 didn't mean to close that <laughs> that, that's what Terrain sees when Fenless comes around the corner. It's just like him like that. It's like, what the hell, man? Better be demon dogs. That was Fenless! 
I made that sound. sound. Like a demon dog. With, to be fair, with the echo in here, I can see why he would think that. Plus, he probably killed a few already anyway, so. I'm also sending Snackbot forward. He well, the parties have reconvened, so if... <laughs> Jacques, I'll catch up besides uh, Snack Button. Terrain, you, you now see your fellow allies of justice approaching along the tracks. Like, well, let, let, let's scout ahead with something that sounds like it could possibly be a bad thing. That's a great idea. <laughs> okay. It was Fenless's idea, so if you're gonna yell at anyone, yell at him, despite the fact he has the highest wisdom in the party and should have known better. But to be fair, if you want to get something's attention, use sound and then ambush. Exactly why he fired the freaking lightning bolt. He's like, I'm not <laughs> dealing with this shit. <laughs> all right, well, whatever. Instead of arguing over who was making the worst decision. Well, the party's reconvened. Which route you want to take? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I'm, I'm relatively indifferent about it. Hmm. I mean, we'll probably end up exploring this whole place sooner or later. Basically. Hmm. What's well, more, do you want to go the way by terrain? Or do you want to go the way by you guys? Is the snackbot flees to justice? <laughs> well, in that case, let's just move everybody up with Team Justice. No, I wanted to move the tokens. Yeah, we... I've been having that problem a lot, so I started to just move them separately. It's just easy. <laughs> oh, it doesn't show them moving when you pick more than one. It just shows it the used to. outline. Yeah. Also, I found a neat thing. If you click your token and then just tap right click, you'll have a range finder for your movement. Fucking great. I'll just catch Padma up. All right, Terrain. Lead the way. Also, Snackbot makes coffee for Jana. <laughs> Does Jana accept the coffee? It has been a day, so she will accept the coffee. Okay. <laughs> now the train's over there. First things first. Reveal area a bit more. And also, things. Yeah, a thing. If I can get roll twenty, to fucking cooperate. Yeah. There's a spoop. Not a friendly spoop. <clears throat> as soon as you come around that corner, you turn, and there's this like shambling black. It looks like a shadow, like, on the wall, but it's three-dimensional and standing in the room. Like, slowly, almost zombie-like, <sighs> turns towards you. And, uh, make me a Christmas saving throw. Oh, no, it's a re-dead. Oh, boy. I have shit Christmas saves. Hey. You feel as though this thing tried to... You, you feel for a split second your muscles start to lock up, but just like... 
out of, uh, you're not sure if it's fear or simple shock, but you just, no, I am justice. No mere specter will stop me. Oh, it tried to frighten me. Not fear. If you'd failed, you would have been stunned. Ah, stunned. Well, I have, I have advantage for just stunned anyway, so. Oh, well, yeah, you'd have been totally fine. And it's time for a boop initiative. So you have made a friend. Let's start with Giacchio. Open you. Snickbot's too busy giving John a coffee. Come on, open Fenless' sheet. Fenless is a bit distracted by being repulsed by coffee. Or something. I don't know. Arvin, will you do any better? Not particularly. Spoop, how will you do for initiative? Okay, okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, what about Jonna's initiative? I assume she'll live up to her proud tradition of getting ass. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah, the proud tradition of both of my characters going last. Alrighty, Snick, you heard something spooky around the corner. What you doing? Um, I guess I am going to move around the corner here. And you see a spoopy thing. Hmm, so it is a spoopy thing. That's not too happy. Hmm. Let's see here. I have new things. I forgot I had new things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Including more speed. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, don't mind this uh, movement of the token. I'm still there. I just needed to fuss with something real quick. Well, I'm just going to shoot him. Roll to shoot. Uh, bop, bop. I take you... the second one missed. Uh, no. You uh, very, very handily uh, <laughs> the you you de spoop the spoop. Get spooped. Which uh, once the two shots, <clears throat> one through its chest, one through its head, the shadows on its body melt away and you see what is now just this lifeless tusk of what had once been a person just pfft, fall to the ground press f to pay respects mm -hmm. and uh, i'm just gonna leave the turn over here because there, there there's gonna be other things in here yeah, like that's an understatement <laughs> but uh there's that thing dealt with, so... <laughs> combat started, Snack! Boop! What combat? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, so... Don't mind that turn order. For now. Yeah. Irvin and Fenless will catch up a little bit. I will polygon reveal... The Salve. Slightly. Boop.
And then once Armin approaches the sign he, that uh, you saw earlier, Train, he says, Yeah, this also leads to the ball pit. Where does this go? Hmm? Uh, let me reveal a little bit of it first. Boop! See a sign, uh... Again half an infernal half in a uh, normal so arvin also like looks in your direction main hall hmm. which way shall we go arvin's uh well Main hall would likely mean the front door, and <clears throat> eh, that simply a uh, means to get back out, I would assume. Whereas we don't know what all is still in here or behind us, or he points in the direction of the door, the path to the ball pit over there. Ketchup snack bot. peek around the corners and snow what it's doing. Right. In the corner, it's just uh, more hallway. Hmm. It branches into another hallway. Well, we need to decide which way we go. <clears throat> Padma, you... You hear this, and you also catch sight of uh, Jackie's ear twitching, which suggests to you he heard it. There's shuffling coming from this way. Ah, uh, there's something else down this way. Yep. Hi, boof. Ah, boof. Hi, Cal. Hi, Cal. Well, he would have been with Team Justice, so he can just plop right onto the map. Oh, I don't worry. I know what to do with Celestine. Just move that over here. Okay. Yeah, you just see the corner of the hallway. You don't see any movement, Padma. But you definitely still hear that shuffling. And also a faint moan that sounds like a less loud version of the one that was just directed at Terrain. Oh, fine. This way seems clear for now. I'll be right back. I want to make food. Okay. Roll 20, please. Shana is going to stand here. Do what she does best. So I find the button. Oh, yeah, now I have to go grab that token in one sec. It's a good thing I kept it on the main world maps GM layer. More than one direction to go. Not on my watch. Not today, scum. If I'm not mistaken, you should have control of it still. Yep. 
All right, cool. Just gonna put it right there for now. All right, just gonna keep watch. Make sure it sneaks up on us. Okie dokie. All right. Train got around the corner first. That's because the other person who usually runs off ahead is currently eating dinner. See another spoop. Spoop. I'm gonna reveal a bit more. What am I saying? No, it's not too far. But, uh, you see the spoop? It turns towards you and just. <sighs> no save needed this time. You're not in range. So, wait. The last one turned out to be just a, an actual person just got spooked. A, they were dead and the, their body was being animated by the shadows. Upon seeing you, it begins to shamble forward. Which means combat time. And we're going to pick up from... We'll start with uh, Terrain this time. Slap it. Roll to slap. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to play around and see if I can get a different character because I think the one we're using is like lagging the shit out of roll 20. It's got so much like code in it. Roll to snip. Roll to falcon punch. No. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was going to slap it. I wasn't kidding. Whew! Nat 20 on Crushing Blow. Let, let's see if it makes the strength save. Oh, mmm. I thought I rolled some sexy damage on the punch itself. Mmm, mmm. That's, that's an 8 total. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bye, friend. Uh, before friend is fully goodbye, I need to reveal the whole room. See, so it gets knocked back into what I can't see. Well, I can't see it now, but not right now. I just remembered what I probably just punched him into, and that's not cool. More spoops. So many spoops. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so you can see a gap in the floor, and it looks like there's a section of roller coaster track going under it. And again, you see another spoop. Wait, no, no, no. Leave that there. But, uh... Yes. The wall takes more damage. That's... Not a wall, that's a hole. And it falls in... Oh. Whoop, falls in next to the thing. <laughs> it just... Whoop, you hit it, like, right in the chest. It just... In the air. Whoop, the shadows, like, fly off. Like, you punch it. You punch the person whose corpse it was holding onto out of it and the spoop itself in front of you just like shrivels up as the body flies into the hole next to the tracks and disappears <laughs> you punched what it was possessing out of it the exorcism punch it's too strong <laughs> Marcus right. don't want to catch one uh I'll get to that when uh, it's Celestine's turn because Celestine's gonna have to catch up because he's currently not with the party he is uh he was helping uh, the orc lady rescue a survive few survivors. Okay, but I want Rotom. <laughs> Sadly, these are not that kind of spoop. 
They are possessing dead people, not uh, appliances. Oh. Yeah, this is a very I evil circus you guys are currently in. I will wait to go get a snack until after it's John's turn, because it's currently Finless, and then it's my turn again. Uh, Finless has, I think, 35. Which puts him right about here. Grab his sheet. Let's just do that. <laughs> On the nearby thingy, because, yeah, that's definitely within 30 feet. Does it make the con save? Not looking promising, pal. Oh! Oh, wow, he actually does. The chronic damage on the spook. Hmm. hmm. Unfortunately, despite uh, what Fenless would have hoped as uh, trying to shrivel up whatever was left, it seems that uh, it's not particularly phased by, you know, spoopy energy, because it is a spoop. He's, he's, he's not in that wisdom score very good. I am returned. That was more me than Fenless. Welcome okay. back, Jinx. It, it, it's not going to get a turn anyway. Yeah. I see now it's it. John's turn. And when I said I'm what I kill it. Shadow demon thing, yay. Well, it's gonna be a very dead shadow demon thing, so I press this button two times. Boop, and boop. Uh, you don't need the second one. Oh, no. The first one pff, burns the shadows off of the dead body, and the corpse it was animating pff, falls to the ground. This is on a roll today. One shot from all the things. Well, they're not that durable. <laughs> I'll be totally honest. These Rotom are ghost and dark types. <laughs> also, hello, Kel. Hello. Mm -hmm. Did I see that thing at all, or were You saw the first one that happened, and uh, it tried to... Well, you saw something try to assault Terrain, and then Terrain just, like, deleted it, and you then saw him walk up and punch the corpse. It was another one. Punch the corpse out of it, because he crit with the crushing blow on his uh, limit crushers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so in... the spoop had what it was possessing punched out of it, and it okay. fell into a hole. So in character, I know he's zapping ghosts. Yeah, shadow you, you've things. seen, you know, he's attacking things that are making sounds that sound like. <laughs> you've heard spoopy okay. noises. You know, it's not people. Okay. And when I said what I said earlier about. Old watch your fire. I'm assuming I was under the assumption he could somehow recognize Terrain's lightning, or he didn't say anything. Well, to be fair, you there's two people in this party who predominantly attack with lightning bolts. Terrain is half of them was with you, so process <laughs> of elimination. And you know, friends are here. So, just to clear that up. Anyway, mm -hmm. carrying on. Alrighty. Another sh another shadow demon banished back to his shadow realm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, we'll just go back to the top of the round for the initiative thingy because we're now back out of combat. Yeah. So Snake and Snakebot can catch up. And you guys can uh, peruse this room you've entered. Okay, once Terrain gets there... <laughs> hold on, I need to mark this very, very obviously.
you come to uh, what was at one point a ball pit. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> it uh, now a bit more aptly would be best described as a demonic feeding trough. Hmm. It's just like full of blood and meat chunks and just it's it's like you're very happy you guys haven't eaten anything recently because when you come in there it's like ooh that's mm, 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 no thank you it's a little Looks a little gory and probably smells a little ripe. Yeah, I was about to this, say, it probably doesn't smell great. <clears throat> this whole place doesn't smell great, to be perfectly honest. It also, to be fair, like, once you came in, I didn't mention it, but this whole place just smells like death, so. It smells a little it, bit ripe. Just, just in general, the whole place just smells like dead and bad. Uh, I'm assuming not. But am I close enough to see the track running here? I'm assuming that's yeah, the track it running can. underneath. Yeah, okay. uh, as uh, do you approach, it's like a hole, and that the track is a little bit underneath of it. Um, do you approach the hole? I'm back. Cautiously. <laughs> okay. When you approach yeah. the hole, you look down. You see a boof. Philistine, how did you get down there? Oh, hello, Ooh. friend. Do you need a hand up? I'm assuming I can. Yes. How, how far down is he? Can I reach him? Uh, let me grab Celestine Cheeks. He's, He's probably gonna an eight foot tall dog. Can't he jump? I was about to say I'm gonna check like uh, Celestine. Eh, he probably can. It's gonna be an athletics check, but let's see. Does he do it? Celestine's fine. I was gonna say I was gonna assist for advantage, but he don't fucking need it. He's he just kind of like he's crouching. <laughs> Poof! Lands up by terrain. The boof is here. Boof. Which, to explain how Celestine got there, uh, <clears throat> after you got the, or you and the LRL got the uh, civilians to safety, you immediately then went to go see what happened to Terrain and Jonna because they were supposed to meet back up with you at the landing site, but they didn't. And you managed to catch sight of Terrain going turbo justice along the roller coaster tracks at the edge of the carnival. And went into the uh followed him but uh you didn't after you went in right after he went in you saw the path was like kind of shift as you walked in so you came in on a different set of tracks but you have caught up with the friends yeah this place mm. really offends your nose though oh, Pro yeah, Celestine's having a bad time right oh now. yeah it, it offends Celestine's nose because Primarily because, well, as someone devout to Vernai, you prefer the smell of things living. Thing, the smell of things dead, especially this potent, and, oh, look, that's a giant demon feeding trough over there. Hmm, this this this, this offends you. Not, like, from the smell of it, just from the fact it's like, this is just a lot of death and not good in the everything. Demon feeding trough, the, trough that's new. Yeah, that's the ball pit. <laughs> Or that was the ball pit. Does Celestine still have advantage on smell checks? That's the important no. question. No, <laughs> I didn't. No. Think so. I didn't think so. On checks involving smell, yeah, like he's them. he's at straight rolls in this place because it's just that bad. It's distracting him. And I'm assuming I can see this doorway and can probably infer it goes into the room we were in. Yeah, I'll be willing to show that. Boop. Wait, I'm. I was just saying, I could probably guess based on. Yeah, you can how guess, and I'm just like, fuck out. it. Yeah. I don't feel like keeping it that big of a quote unquote mystery. <laughs> guys are like right there. Beep boop. I'm assuming this is just a wall. Nothing crazy or anything on there. Uh, yeah, it's just a wall. Are there bits of gore? Or is it literally just a pool of blood right now? <laughs> it's a pool of blood. There's like chunks of meat and bone and just viscera, oh. everything. Oh, oh, oh. It, 
it's it, it's like you've walked into part of Doom when you actually get to hell in those games. Oh, lovely. Like, it doesn't even look like it was once a pit. It like Most of this place like still looks like a dilapidated thing. When you get to here, it looks very, like, it's grown into this shape instead of just being a man-made ball pit full of, you know, colorful plastic balls. It's just now full of death. You can see a few of the plastic balls still floating in it, but some of them are half mutated into, like, bits of people. Shiakyo's... Shiakyo's covering his nose a bit, because I'm assuming a concentrated pool of oh, blood yeah, no, and viscera is like, extra ripe. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is just... Oh, man. Oh. I've, that, smelled, that's a... I've smelled some ripe bodies before, but this is just... rank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> oh. Irvin, like, sort of turns away and coughs. Oh, God. Let's, let's proceed on. Fenless is not going anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Where were you a second ago, Shiakyo? I was just he saying. Was right here. Yeah, I was right. Here, I'll put my. Move back to that tile, please. Yep. Okay, thank you. Okay. As you start to turn away. Shit. <laughs> uh. Back to where I was. <laughs> make me a. Which is higher between your athletics or acro? Actually, would this be a? If I get the choice, I'm doing athletics. Let's just say that. Uh, Damn it, past me, you didn't make a token for these things. If it's a tendril or something tried to grab me, it would probably be a dexterity save. To try and avoid getting grabbed in the first place. If I had to guess oh, what's going to happen. It's, it's, it's not a tendril. Uh, you'll you'll find out what it is. It's it's not going to be great. Yeah. If it's something I have to dodge, that's more dexterity based. If I can, or bl if I can block it, it'd be more strength slash athletics. Well, it, it's it's definitely something trying to uh, grabble you. That'd probably be a deck save. Uh, go for a deck save then. I'm rules yeah. lawyering myself into being fair. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm trying to think because I it, there's nothing listed here, and I didn't think to fix that sooner. That's fine. Okay. Let's see how how potentially screwed are you once roll twenty come the fuck on please. Oh mm mm hmm. Okay, let me just get make sure touched. I get this. Let, let me just make sure I have this fucking token uploaded first. It's a good thing I knew immediately what I wanted to use as a token for these things. Oh well. This one, at least. Have fun with that one, Jinx. A boop! Son of a bitch. Oh, oh it's break. the big one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I used a red kazoo from Monhun. <laughs> Demon hacks. As you turn away, a giant... worm... Snake, you're not sure, but it shot out and it tried and it went for your arm and is now biting and grappling your arm. And uh make a strength uh actually this is the concept now make an athletics check. Yeah, this at this point once I'm grappled it's a choice. Seventeen. It tries to pull you in? But you just sort of, no, no, no. It's got you by the arm. It's, sadly, that's also the arm holding your sword. So currently you can't use your weapon because it's kind of inside this thing's mouth. Son of a bitch. I know what my rebuttal is. Mm-hmm. What a hold on, I need to add him to the turn order. And 
I had rolled his initiative already. Was there it is. Just move him up a bit. You can get rid of Mr. Spoop because Mr. Spoop is deleted. And this was just a normal grapple he was doing. No, I'm I'm me. leaving that there because I might need it later. I think for I'm keep I'm obviously keeping the deck safe, but I think for normal grapples in general you have the choice. It's whichever is higher. Yeah. So I, I didn't know what was exactly happening, so obviously I'm keeping mm -hmm. the deck safe, but I'll remember mm -hmm. that. <sighs> oh. Oh, good. Oh, fucking good. <laughs> obviously, don't, don't worry about in, it. <laughs> obviously in character, I don't know what's there, but oh, fucking good. <laughs> okay, here's the... Vip! the whole little room you're fighting in. But yes, Snek, there is a large uh, evil bad noodle biting Giacchio. What do you do about it? De Demon Lamprey. Hmm. You also roll initiative for Celestine. Well, I guess there's just one thing to do. Celestine does not have high initiative. His place is, is assaulting his senses too much right now. Oh, <laughs> you missed on the first one. Second one definitely hits. You mean I don't have advantage? You do. Never mind, you hit with both. Okay. I was going to say, with me right there, is that negative one hit? Or does that one roll hit me? <laughs> no. But thank you, advantage. <laughs> it's, ooh, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not having a good time already. And, uh... Oh, no, I missed. Oh, wait, I'm a kobold. Uh... Giacchio, oh. roll me athletics again? Okay. Athletics. Uh... In pain from the amount of just bullet hurt it just took, it like roars and you take advantage and yank your arm free. You are no longer grappled. Good. Next up, Padma. All right. I would just look at this thing. It's just. Let's use it. It squealed. It's. Go away! <clears throat> <laughs> well, you hit it. Not dead, but you hit it. It's 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 not looking happy about its predicament right now. Excuse me. Good one. Holy crap! An enemy gets turned. When has this ever happened before? <laughs> Alright, is that your turn then, Tori? I mean, I don't think I have any bonus action heals. You have Bardic Inspiration. It's always right. a bonus action for you. Joe. Hmm. Will you inspire? Since he's next up in our team, Zakio. Okie dokie. Inspire with a kiss on the cheek. That's all he needs. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Spoops do spoop things in other places. Don't worry about them. Noodle time. So, for starters... Oh, that's the... Wait, can you guys see that one? Yes. yes. Okay. Boop! Two more big ones. And a few smaller ones all oh. stick their heads out of the trough. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I had fun making this place. Fuck you, Rin. <clears throat> At least you didn't go for a swim. 
Why the fuck would I go for a swim in that? <laughs> Even without knowing those are there, why the fuck would I go for a swim in that? Fortunately for you, because of the way they're positioned, the other big ones can't really get to you that well. This one's gonna like come to the edge and is like biting out, and the little stubby ones are kind of in the way of this other big boy in the back. They're they're like they're trying their best to get at you. The only one that really can is the the one that's already biting Giacchio, and he's gonna try to take a he gonna take a chomp on uh, the the closest thing, which is Giacchio. 19 is the number to beat. Missed on its first bite, second one hit. Let's see how much damage. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. His brand. <laughs> My brand. You take... Four, you take, wait, what was that? No, 17 points of piercing damage as it bites down on your arm. And make a... It's attempting make to grapple. A, yeah. Then I have the choice. Uh, in which case, obviously, it's going to be athletics. Because fuck you. Uh... Your modifier is higher, so you win the contest. <laughs> it tried to pull on you, but you just tried to yank your arm back out and take a few of its teeth off with your armor. It's like... <sighs> it's very weird, like, roaring, hissing sound these things are making. It's not pleasant to hear. What's your rebuttal? Oh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to decide on my rebuttal here. No, the other ones did anything? They can't get in range. They can't reach me. The The small ones are blocking the big boy in the back, so the big boy couldn't try to bite someone. Uh, let's just go for the tried and true. Swing, swing. On the one that's been attacking you? Yes. Well, good news. It's dead now. <clears throat> and it's sort of... As you slice, slice, it like its head is like half hanging onto its body now. And just sort of... Boom, slumps against the side of the, the trough. And like... Starts to slide in, but because of the gash, it gets caught and stuck. Fortunately, this also means it's not blocking the others, so on their next turn, hey, you got more friends. <laughs> That's what they think. <laughs> I was to say about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to flip them all the bird and take a step back. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> yep. Arvin's turn. What is his rebuttal to this bullshittery? Okay, that that makes sense for him to do. So uh, about those two assholes, those those guys in the back, Arvin has a has a very uh, potent rebuttal for them. Wow, that is some shit dice rolls. God damn it, man. Damn. But the two, the two little boys and oh, the he, one. He burned big all guy. three of them on that too. <laughs> yeah. It, it no. It's down here. From down here. Okay. Because if he say... put it any one higher, he would catch you, and he doesn't want to catch his cousin. 
Because trust me, that's what I was uh, testing for, because I know how Arvin works. I was testing you because I have something else planned. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's see. Dex saves for three uh, of you. I like how you're implying they'll survive until your next turn. Maybe. <laughs> One will survive. Standing in the back. One will survive just for you. <laughs> One, two... Because I'm implying the dice might be in Jonathan's favor. <laughs> okay, so they all failed. So that's... Let me, let me click on the big meaty boy. Thank you. That's 30. To you. It was radiant damage. Come on, fucking thing. Okay. And then Arvin will reload one of his runes and back the fuck up a little bit. Justice! There's a great deal of villainy in front of you. There is. Okay, no, I didn't want Fenless on Arvin's sheet. Yep. I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh dear. Let's see, there's what, five of them right now? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. This might be extra fun because they're swimming in blood. <laughs> This oh. is the thing, though. Given what, what type of enemies I think these are, this is gonna do so much fucking damage. Oh no, I forgot you had that! <laughs> oh, that- oh, I was to say, I was also gonna do something similar if they lasted to my turn. So the one in... say, this guy. Just gets holy magic missile to the face for a shit ton of damage. What, all of those? All nine of them down his face. Oh yeah, no. You, uh... Distinctly as you... <clears throat> channel your uh, arcane rune... And unleash it in the instant you sense the clarity... These fiends will not last. <clears throat> as the swarm of missiles doubles in size... And just fucking assaults this giant heck and... He now looks like a lot like Swiss cheese that's bleeding. 18d4. Good lord. Only against spawn demons and fiends. Otherwise, it's only 9d4. And these are yeah. quite likely fiends. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, like they are. <laughs> oh, good. I have something fun for them. All right. Is that Terrain's turn? It's still alive, though? Mm-hmm. Well, that was action, so... I still have the ability, because I have fencing magic. Slap. Hmm. I'm waiting to see him die. Once roll 20 actually wow. fucking loads. Yeah, he did. He had 10 health left after your attack. He's gone. That's another big boy down as you just walk up and then whoosh, the blade through it and then yank and then yank it back out and its head just like slams into the rock next to you and like half breaks. So it's just like sort of stuck in a bit messily on the ground in front of the pit now. Oof. 
Celestine, it's boof time. Do you want to go anywhere near that? I don't think you do. Well, Kel can't see the map because he's in Overwatch, not roll 20. Yep. The Celestine approach and boof one of the bad noodles. Yes. Big noodle bad. or bi big noodle or small noodle? Big noodle. Okay. No. Celestine, get right up here. Boof, why? You will get attack of opportunity by one small noodle, but I have a feeling small noodle won't hit him. Small noodle will not touch him. Celeste just sort of, poof, just runs past Padma. The nearest uh, noodle tries to bite, but Celeste is just like, nope. And then whoop, whoop, here comes little drummer boy. Let me just open up Celestine's sheet and one, two, three, and stick. I think it's dead. Let me see if the big one's dead. Oh, this is the one with the most health. Let's see. 29, minus 20, 23, minus 20 again, 100 to 0. Yet again. Shocking nobody. <laughs> Fucking fighters, man. <laughs> I'm starting to believe everything should have been Ozma. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, congratulations, Boo, if you have destroyed the bad worm in the bad pit of bad. Or at least one of the big ones. Yeah, the last of the big ones. All that's left are the little boys, and they're uh, decidedly less threatening. <laughs> so, unlike the big ones, they can't try to swallow you whole. Oh, good. Fenless's turn. He's not about to get any closer, so he's going to come up here and... Uh, the little one on the bottom side who just poof, dead and sinks into the blood. <laughs> I'm just going to move that one up there because I assume Celestine just like battered it so hard its head just clunked into the wall next to him. As Celestine does. Mm-hmm. Jonna, there's two little ones left. <laughs> Whoa, shit! That was me messing with my chair by accident. It uh, started so to your, sink. I say, did your chair betray you? No, my leg did. I moved it next to the thing that adjusts my chair height and up just enough that it started to make me just start to drop. It's like, oh no! Once the boom loads. Oh. Well, let's see if they make their saves. Toasty. No. No. Of the two that had more health, you did exactly its HP and damage. Okay. And now everything smells like d burning dead bodies in here now. God. Damn it, Chana. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, they're uh they're pretty fucking dead. I'm just to uh, start the next combat at Snackbot's turn then. Ah, oh, now that there's actually no no, that was all of them, so no need for their thing anymore. Now that there's hopefully no more interruptions, shall we proceed now? Hold on first, before you dart off on me. I was going to use a few charges of the Tide Master Ward and patch him up. Alright. That's Halo Rejuvenation, right? Uh, it's uh, healing mist. I'm okay. down 30. Yeah. And you can use three charges at a time so you can cast it up to third level. 
There's 15 back. I will say, darling, don't ever take me to a fun house again after this. I never planned on it to begin with. <laughs> Good. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> uh, what's Train's passive perception again? 16. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you just met the DC to catch this out of the corner of your eye. On the... Kind of, like, stuck in the teeth of the one that was trying to eat Jayakio, you can see a key. Yoink. Silent Hill logic, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, healed. Yes, if you want to press on, feel free to press on. I'm sad. I was hoping no one would find that. I'm going to come back for it later. <laughs> Alas, I put an insurance policy in, and to be fair, if you hadn't been standing right next to it, you wouldn't have. Yep. Also, uh, the space you all are like gathered around right now, that's a locked door. Oh, great. I'm going to try the key I just picked up. Key does not fit. Try my key. Oh, you, that you got off the... Uh, yes. The technician? This one actually works. Found the master key. Maybe. Well, you found a key to something. and Well, you have the key ring for the fun house entirely. Oh, yeah. It's a ring of fun house key. Mm-hmm. Joy. Well, I, say my op I was going to say the next option would just be have Celestine break, th break it down. <laughs> The nice. doggo option. Mm -hmm. Door opens, and you can see ahead of you, see through the door, it seems to lead you into part of the Hall of Mirrors. But something seems unusual as you just sort of peer through. And that's where I'll pick it up next week, because I'm calling it here. Because it is like 10 o'clock your time, and Kel needs sleep. Kel has, tomorrow, tell, Kel has tomorrow off, I thought. I do have tomorrow off. Oh. Well, this is where but I planned on ending it anyways, because it's been two I'm hours. Not tired. Uh, two hours is a good cutoff. Yeah. yeah. Trying to keep that at least kind of consistent. I shall. We'll pick up with uh, more spoopy adventures in the fun house next week. Alrighty, and I'm going to switch to full screen cam. If you are new here, the reason I don't do a cam during my D&D &D streams is because I think it adds a little bit to the immersion. And some of us don't have cameras or just don't want to use them for whatever reason, which is perfectly fine. <clears throat> um, I do do this every week, starting Saturday at about 5 p.m. PST. Um... As he said, next week we will pick up with episode 52. Um, tomorrow I will be live with our weekly Final Fantasy XIV raid with the Wings of the Twelve Free Company raid group. Um, that starts at about 3 p.m. Pacific. And if you aren't already, be sure to hit that follow button and make sure you have notifications turned on so that way Twitch can yell at you when I do go live in case we are late or early or anything like that other avenues that i announce when i go live as well as any scheduled changes and the like are via my twitter and my discord uh, my twitter being twitter.com slash jinxpicninja and the discord i have provided a link in the chat as well as down below the stream if you happen to be watching this later i have links down there as well um and for those of you that are new here uh, my name is jinxpicninja obviously 
I am mainly a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. Um, I'm working on trying to get a little more comfortable streaming other games as well. Um, it just so happens that Final Fantasy XIV happens to be my go-to, so please look forward to that. Um, and yeah, again, I'll be live starting at about 3 p.m. Pacific tomorrow afternoon with some Final Fantasy XIV rating. And until then, guys, peace.